Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. This raw video is from a photo walk on July 25th, 2016 in Cabarrus County, North Carolina. The area is a triangle of wild growing land that can't be developed because it has running over it a high tension, high voltage cross country power line. It looks like someone mows a path for access once a year. I had to wear my bug pants to protect myself from ticks in the high grass. All right, got to start with an apology today. This raw footage is just making me motion sick. Uh, but that's what you get when you're a video photographer and you're scrubbing through the different takes. There's more that ends up on the cutting room floor than ends up uh, on screen, especially when you're chasing butterflies. Scrubbing through the raw footage here, we can see uh, out of focus butterflies, closed up butterflies, beautiful flowers, beautiful setting, but butterflies keep moving and they move and they move. So it's hard to catch them. Sometimes when you do catch them, then the light's not right. Too dark a background with too bright yellow a flower. Flower's too small, blowing the camera out. <laughs> so let's keep scrubbing and see what we can find here. Beautiful butterfly is landed on a flower. Just the flowers are just overblown there, and there's not really much we can do about it. Short segment making me motion sick, too. Okay, here's a clip where let's go backwards here. This is the end of the clip. There's a bee, there's a butterfly. There's another bee. I think this may be what we're looking for here. Let's uh, create a favorite selection here so that I can move it down to the timeline. And uh, where do we want to start this favorite? Uh, here comes the bee. There's the butterfly. Okay, we had a change in the background there. Let's go right from the change and make that an in. And we'll just skim through here. And butterfly flies off and we'll make that an out. And we'll select this and pull it down to the timeline. Now when we're working with it, we just have the good piece of video here that we can work with motion sickness time is about done here Let's just tighten this up even a little more here all right so now we have about a five second piece of video here and uh that'll give us some things uh, that'll give us enough to work with here Let's change this to our 30 second video. Let's select that first. Change this in our duration to 30 seconds. It's actually about uh, seven seconds there. We're gonna change that into 30 seconds. And we're going to expand that so that we can see it a little better in the timeline. And now we can scrub through at a much slower pace. We can see the beautiful butterfly working the beautiful flowers here today. And we have a little bee 
wanting on the same flower the butterfly is on, of course. The butterfly actually reacts to the bee approaching them. Bee decides, well, that guy's pretty big, I'm going to go to another flower. <laughs> Wise move on the part of that bee. Now we've got them both working flowers here. And uh, along comes another bee. And the butterfly again reacts to the other bee being there. Now he's got a bee on both sides of him. And now the bee takes off and flies right into the butterfly. Go one frame at a time here. S see the action. Uh, there's the bee on the back of the butterfly. <laughs> the bee actually goes over and like grabs a hold of the butterfly. Butterfly flies off. What happens to the bee? Up oh, the bee drops off. Looks like he's dropping head first <laughs> down behind the flower. Okay, we've got a interesting little action sequence. The butterfly comes across the screen again and flies off. So I think we can narrow this down to just a little bit shorter here. Let's uh, select this piece of video again and uh, let's go to customize that again and let's make this 30 seconds here again the duration 30 seconds all right back to a 30 second clip kind of trim down butterfly goes off now, uh, between the uh, camera motion, maybe even between the flowers kind of blowing around the wind a little bit, we've got a lot of movement there. Let's see what happens if we take the entire clip here and try to stabilize it some. Let's select it and go to video and turn on. Let's put the scrubber somewhere where we can see it. And let's turn on stabilization. Analyzing for dominant motion. It goes through a process of looking at what it's got in the clip. And then it goes through a process of re-rendering. You can see the process timer up here almost done actually saw it zoom in a little bit like it cropped just a little bit and uh, that's a sign of how much motion it took out let's just scrub through here we see the flowers the bee everything now looks fairly stable the whole flower bee arrangement isn't moving around as much we've got good uh, look at the, the subjects there's the, the bee riding the butterfly the bee getting flicked off and headed head first down behind the flower and off they go only to come back around again fly right in front of the flowers I like that little segment I like the way it's stabilized all right, we've got to throw a little dissolve in here at the end to just dissolve the black. There we go. And uh, I noticed we have uh, audio running through the clip here too. And we've just got to take and turn that down or with it at such slow motion here 
the sound just becomes so garbled it isn't of any use. And uh, look at our clip. I think we've got ourselves a 30 second nature video. Alright, All right. thank you for watching with me today.